If you wanted a good dishwasher 10 years ago, you bought a Bosch, Mila, or KitchenAid dishwasher, and you had to spend over $1,000. But is it really necessary to spend that much money in this day and age? Can an $899 LG dishwasher really wash and dry as well as a $2299 Mila? In this video, you'll see how both dishwashers handled the nastiest concoction of dishes, including sports bottles coated with chocolate syrup, Tupperware stained with red sauce, and frying pans with burned on eggs. Stay to the end to see the results. First, let's take two minutes to discuss the features of each dishwasher. We'll also talk about reliability based on real service calls. The Mila G7 366 has the most complete wash system featuring three full spray arms. Most brands just have two spray arms and a sprinkler head at the top of the dishwasher. Their innovative new Autodose system is an automatic dispenser that releases the right amount of detergent at the right time. This theoretically washes your dishes better. Mila also has a simple but effective drying system. The drying system has two ports at the bottom, allowing outside air into the dishwasher. The hotter, steamier air is attracted to the cooler sides of the dishwasher and then dissipated as water. The dishwasher also pops open at the end automatically to release steam and heat to speed drying. LG uses steam to loosen baked on food with a steam generator located on the door. And why not? It works on laundry, so why not try it on dishes? Their quad wash system uses oblong spray arms targeting more places than the conventional round arms of a typical dishwasher, like Mila, at least in theory. Their dynamic dry drying system adds steam and heat, which stirs the air to actively dry even plastics. We'll see if that's true later in the video. So they both say they can wash baked on dishes and dry plastics. Let's see how both of these dishwashers actually performed in our tests. Stick around to the end after the comparison because there's way more to consider than just the washing and drying. LG's washing performance was pretty decent. There was some egg left on the pan and a bit of lasagna on the dish. Both of these rinsed off by hand very easily afterward. All of the other dishes were clean. All the glass and ceramic dried as expected and the plastics were predictably wet. Mila was clearly the best in terms of washing, not just compared to LG, but all of the other dishwasher brands that we tested. It was able to thoroughly clean every type of dish and piece of silverware from the stained Tupperware to the dried on dinner plates, other than the pan with burned on eggs, which no dishwasher was able to fully clean. But it's clear that Mila did the best job. Mila's drying is also excellent. Even the plastics were mostly dry but you are paying over $2,000 for this Mila versus under $1,000 for the LG. So are these results really worth the difference of $1,000? Now let's talk about the surprising part. According to our 37,000 plus service calls that our service department logged last year, LG, not Mila, is the most reliable dishwasher you can buy at just 4% needing service in the first year. Mila was still respectable at 6.2%. That's really not bad either. Finding service can be an issue for both brands depending on where you live. So make sure you know who will be able to fix your appliances before you buy them. If you wanna see how Mila compares to the new Bosch 800 series dishwasher with their crystal dry drying system, click this video and thanks for watching.